what's up YouTube this is Tim 93 I have a uh, my first product review with you this is my new messenger camera bag my Swiss Army Zinc ME which stands for which is abbreviation for messenger bag so first off I picked this bag up at Best Buy for $61.99 and what first brought my attention to this bag was the fact that <clears throat> excuse me was the fact that it doesn't look like a camera bag and it has like that nice sleek style that I want because some messenger bags are kind of fat and bulky and I do not like that at all because it looks but it's obviously a camera bag or you have something important in there and it is Swiss so I knew that I would get some good quality material some good quality you know build in it so first off in the bag there's a zipper in the front which I keep in here is my um, my caps for when I want to change the lenses so here's my, my body cap, my rear lens cap Oops. Um, on the side here there is a pocket for uh, a little convenience pocket for anything I want to keep in there personally I keep my extra batteries in there that way I won't have to open the bag up and change my batteries up and just switch them out fast. Back here is a zipperless slot where you can keep um, that can be a tablet, iPad, or uh, in my case, uh, my HP notebook. That's what I keep in there. And on the other side, there is a little mesh uh, pocket for whatever you want to put in there, maybe a bottle of water or what have you. This is a messenger bag, so there is a sling on it. There is a pad right here, which is yeah, it's a good pad. It's you know it's comfortable enough, and it is adjustable. It is adjustable. I just wish that I could take this off and maybe put a custom pad on it, or um, I'm sorry, a custom sling on it or something. The thing I like about this, before I open it up, this material is sturdy, and it uh you know it seems waterproof. I really don't know if it is or not. But it um, but it looks like you can also put some embroidery or some stitch patches on it. You know, kind of customize it if you want. So let's open up the back here. First of all, there is nothing at the top here. It's just uh, you know padding. It kind of looks you know waterproof or weatherproof or whatever. And in the middle here, I there you come. You have these three slots with the two dividers, and there's a third divider on the bottom, which I keep there for protection because just in the middle is where I put my DSLR, my Canon Rebel T3i. And I'm that's what I'm that's what I'm recording with right now. It's on my tripod with a um, a Sigma 18 to 250 mm lens on it. So yeah here is a here is a picture of the bag on everything inside of it, including my DSLR in the middle. And so you can see the T3i in the middle and on one side I have my Canon 28-135 and on the opposite side I have my Sigma 50mm 1.4 in there. And these lenses, coming back to the bag, these lenses do fit uh, very securely. Oops, my cap came off, excuse me. These lenses do fit, these lenses do fit very securely, even with the, um, with the, what's that called? The lens hood on it. And you know, here's my other lens securely fitting in there. Now these um, dividers are adjustable, so you know, I just you know, I put the what I did first is I put the lenses on the sides, and then I put the dividers in as far as I could over on both sides, and then what I got in the middle is what I where I could fit my DSLR. And when you first get this bag, these pads are going to be here for uh, covering the top, and at first it looks appealing, but maybe you know it can be. Um, slightly waterproof, but it really is annoying when trying to when you open your bag up and then you have to move these flaps and get your camera out. So a good idea if you do purchase this bag is to tuck these to the side here, and that provides additional padding just in case you may bump something by any chance. So that's exactly what I did. I just tucked them on the side. And you have a tighter fit and you have additional padding. You know, it's a one-one situation. The um, only other pocket, zipper pocket in here, is this kind of organizer pocket here. I keep it open because there's no need to you know, open and close it. It is going to be a flap for taking it here. So I'll keep that open. And here I keep my 
some pens, you know, um, a little pad for notes or whatever. Keep additional memory cards in here. My business cards are in here as well. And also, I keep lens wipes in here. These, um, you know, the wet lens wipes. You can pick them up at Walmart for about, or they, or they two or three dollars, maybe two fifty. So that's it. Besides, oh, one more thing I can show you is that this this bag does have these two clamps here. I can't remember the actual name, but they are adjustable, so you can make them tighter or um, you know loosen them back up if you want to. So there's the bag, the whole thing closed and everything. When you pick it up, it's got a good uh, grip on it with this handle here on top. And you know it's not gonna rip because it's some good quality, you know, good quality material that it's made out of. So, you know, that's my review video. Thank you for watching. Again, if you're wondering, I'm filming with a Canon Rebel T3i with a 18 to 250 millimeter lens. Thanks for watching.